And there's one other method that we can use that is actually quite useful for these types of walkthroughs as well. You have a little bit more fine tuning on the, the path that the cameraman is taking. I'm gonna use another camera here and actually another motion study. So say I'm happy or I'm finished with this free path here. Then you're gonna spline path. Okay, so this is a completely new animation now for me. And I'm gonna use a completely new camera for it as well. So it's essentially a new project, let's say. For one, what I'm using here is an actual sketched path. So within this assembly, if I jump to my assembly tree here, I'll just jump into a isometric view or so, just so we can take a look. Okay, um, so I've actually drawn a sketch called path here. We can see it. Maybe I'm gonna I show it here. So I'm just gonna click this eyeball icon to show my path. Okay. So now I have a sketched path here, and essentially I can tie my cameraman dead on that path. So he's just gonna walk and follow it exactly along. So I just have a little bit finer control over my cameraman's movements in this, in this sense. Okay. So I'm gonna go to this new study here, this spline path. In this case, I'm gonna use a new camera, path camera here. Okay. And I'll go to zero seconds again. I'll right click on my path camera and go into my properties. Okay. And it's a similar idea. So I'm gonna have my two views here, something like this, like this. Except what we have is a target point and camera position. And so in addition to just being able to move our camera and our, our camera viewpoint anywhere we'd like, we can actually tie them to specific targets. So I can say, target point and maybe click anywhere on my, my path here. And what that does is it's now telling me exactly where my cameraman should be pointing on my path. So notice I'm dead on that path now. Okay. And then just below that, I also have camera position. And similarly, just how I, I tied this viewing point to my path, I can actually tie my camera to the path as well. So I click on camera position here, click somewhere on my path here as well. And now notice my camera or cameraman is tied dead on that point as well. Okay. And then in addition to this, we have percentage distance along our path or our edge or whatever target we've thrown on. So you can play around with this just to see exactly what it is. But essentially it's how far up the path my specific point is. So here's my viewing point, you know, 50% along, 100% along, whatever it might be. And how far my cameraman is up along the path as well as the 50%, 10%, 30%, so on. Okay. So essentially where my cameraman is positioned and where he's pointing. So what I can do now at zero seconds, I'm gonna start them almost both at zero. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start the cameraman at zero percent so he's right at the start of the path there but what i'm actually going to do here is you can put it anything you'd like five percent one percent something like that just because you'd like it to probably be slightly in front of the camera not behind the camera or else you'd be turned in the, the opposite direction so i'm going to say one percent up the path so you can see now my cameraman is always pointing one percent ahead so he's going to be real close to his target point and he's just going to follow it along the path so at zero seconds, my camera is at the end of the path and I'm pointing 1% up the path. Okay, and I can just hit the green check. So now I've set my zero second time and it's a similar idea. We just have a little bit more fine control here. Now I can just move ahead. So I'm just gonna click and drag my time bar here. Let's say to about say 18 seconds or so. And then at 18 seconds, I'm going to change how far my cameraman has moved up the, the path there. So I'm going to go back into this path camera. Uh, again, I should right click and make sure disable view key creation is not enabled, which it's not, so I'm okay there. I'm going to just right click on my path camera, jump back into properties. And at 18 seconds now, I want to move my target point up. So I can see it going along the path. I'm actually gonna go all the way around. So from zero to 18 seconds, I'm gonna be moving all the way around. So I'm gonna change this to 100% and the camera I'm gonna change as well to let's say 99% up the path there. So my zero second time, I'm right at the start of the path 
and my 18 second time, I'm right at the end of the path. Uh, so I should just follow exactly behind my viewing point from that zero to 18 seconds. And if I just hit the green check there. So notice I see the key points coming in under my path camera from zero to 18 seconds. And again, I can just play through here, take a look. But I should be starting at zero seconds there and kind of following that path exactly, turning around the path and then coming on back. So it's a little bit smoother you can probably see than the free path as I just had a, a lot more fine control because I could sketch this path to be exactly the way I'd like it. Okay. So from this, we can see that walkthrough animations can be generated by editing a free camera or by tying a camera down to a specific path. And of course, we can also use any combination of these two methods.